So here we are, um, just driving towards my chess club. Just made a video presentation, but I thought I'd just give you a view of what I see. It's coming through the traffic lights now. This is just starting what possibly called city limits. So this is a 50k road, about 35 miles an hour. And in a moment, I'm going to be dropping into Hua Hin Town, past the law courts on the right hand side. And the road is fairly terrible. You can see the motorbikes, lots of them. Very few helmets, but lots of masks. I've commented on this before that they seem to be scared of catching something, so they wear a mask. But they don't wear a helmet. If they fall off the bikes, and there's loads of motorbike accidents in Thailand, because no protection, no MOTs on the bikes, no regulation, no bike tests. Some wear helmets. It is a law, but it's very rarely enforced. Well, they wear a mask, but they don't wear a helmet. That's interesting in itself, isn't it? And I enjoy this drive. I do it every Thursday and Sunday to go and see my mate Peter at his cafe, where we play chess. For fun. But it's... Um, one of those things in the week that makes me think I stay very busy but chess really stretches your brain <laughs> it's like doing puzzles puzzles and learning things and exercising your brain which is a muscle is a good thing so that's why I enjoy my chess so this is a windy road that gets easily flooded. And it's a beautiful back road, although it's the main road, as I say, going past the law courts in a minute. Restaurant up on the left-hand side that I quite often go to for steaks, pork chops. They do a nice steak with black pepper sauce, salad and chips. And I used to go to the Pennebrim for that in Upper Colwyn Heights. I come here for it now. It used to cost me about 35 quid in the Pennebrim. Used to pay for that, no problem, because it was very nice, but um, I pay about um, 320 baht for it here, which is about eight pound. And that's considered quite a, an expensive meal in Thailand. Now you can see the quality of the road here and it starts to bump about typical Thailand, they patch the roads up quite badly. This road's not been resurfaced for a long time and the law courts are on the right hand side, which are government buildings, which surprises me. And they like these, what they call speed, speed ramps, or in my day they used to call them sleeping policemen. Slow you down. Motorcycle combination there that's very common. Motorcycle and trailer at the side. Law courts on the right hand side now. Slowing down to 12k here. I think you've got to go 12k because the road's so poor. Tight flags. And if you're interested in. Um, following me as I'm driving around. I think it's interesting to see other cultures. Nice mountains, right, left and centre of um, Hua Hin Town. We 
which is a little bit like Candid, no, it's a coastal town. And the beach is gorgeous. Horse riding on the beach and food sellers and there's not so many there at the moment because of um, I turn right here because there's no tourism at the moment the flights aren't coming in or out and there's a marketplace on the right here you'll see it as I turn round and as you can see a lot of them are empty selling food here on the left garden centres food car wash petrol plastic goods just a typical outdoor market in Thailand but it should be busy but it's not and I'm about five minutes away now from my destination but I just thought I'd put the camera on and show you here's a Falang in front Falang is a foreigner like me an expat from somewhere caught the bad habit of not wearing a helmet from the ties, silly game really because if you come off you will regret it I've been a biker for years I always put my helmet on however hot it is you should always cover up you don't want a gravel rash if you come off I'm turning right here and this is particularly a place on the right called Yellow House and there's a lot of Norwegians live down here there's a Nor Norwegian restaurant on the right and called Yellow House Restaurant, Norwegian food. And then left and right, there's Norwegian holiday chalets and houses and accommodation. The place on the left you might see, I don't know, it's called Barn Norway 2. Barn Norway 1 was behind us, Tuk Tuk on the right. Very narrow roads these. Barn Norway 3 on the right there and then Barn Norway 4 coming up on the right and down each one of those it's a little bit like Coronation Street to be honest with you back to back townhouses probably pick those up for about £8,000-£10,000 in the day probably more like about £30,000 now for one of those properties maybe £40,000-£50,000 no maybe not And um, just going through this gravel area, children playing here on the right, burning something, doing something. I think they're smoking, uh, doing it like a barbecue, smoking the fish. Maybe the kids are fishing and just doing a barbecue. Nice to see. I'm going to turn right here now. Dogs in the road, they very rarely move very chilled out school on the left turn right here and then down to my mate Pete's, Peter's house who's got a place there's a cow it's nice to see it's all back entries and you could almost kind of feel of being in Spain here but obviously it's not it's Thailand but it's that continental back-to-back -back shanty town townhouse sort of old old Spain feel it's got. I do like it. Beat that dog so I don't run him over. They're not streetwise, they just stay there and look at you. <laughs> and in front of me now is where I'm going. Kids on skateboards, nice to see. And there is the Magic Cafe, which is my mate's place. So thank you for joining me on the journey. Keep checking back. Have a great day. God bless. Take care. Love you loads.